Hi guys, Zator here. And today I'm going to be going over mixing and mastering for, well, I'll say mixing and mastering, uh, mixing for drums. This is just going to be a quick video where I mix live drums. This is completely blank. Uh, all I have are the, the drums here. So I'm going to mute everything else. And we have just the drums. So we have the raw drums here. Oh, nice little room sound. Uh, sounds pretty good. But let's go ahead and take these drums to the next level. Uh, so real quick, we'll start with uh, blank everything, of course. Uh, let's start with a kick. So default kick tone that we have here. Here's the two kick tracks that we have. First one, which is the out, uh, inside. So add some EQ. Uh, for the for the inside, I generally like to EQ with a boost in the low end. Drop off just in the the lower mids uh, to clear up some of the muddiness. Preserve the the low frequency because we'll we'll boost the mids, uh, including the low mids with the the outside, and then bring in the kick. And real quick before I forget, I'm gonna gate the. Uh, Gate the kick, and if it goes above 0 dB, we'll just compress it a little bit, but I'll set the level so it doesn't really do that too much. Cool, and there we go, we have a nice clicky uh, kick drum, and now uh, just just to bring it up to a, another level, add some saturation, because you can't have enough saturation. You know what? I use Tesla probably way too much, but it does that. It's much louder. I'll bring that back into check. So we start with without saturation, bring it in. Pretty nice. Helps with the, the high frequency, the click a little bit. Smooths everything out. Adds a little bit of compression too. So uh, next we'll hit it with Thrill Seeker LA. If you watch my previous video, you'll you'll know exactly why I love this compressor. Clipping, really clipping. All right, here we go. How about some more compression? 5 dB, push it farther, bring the level back. Bit too much level still. There we go, just right. Right at the orange level. All right, so now we can hear with the, the outside kick, we get much more of a thump. And actually, you know what I could do? Uh, what I will do, I'll bring in the gate from the first kick. This, oh wow, this this one's got a much hotter signal. And before I do anything, since this is the mid-range, uh, I'll go ahead and see how boot EQ sounds on here. Bring the drive up. Perfect. Get a little bit of tube drive off of that. We'll bring in the EQ. Cool. Throw some more saturation on there. Bring the level up just so we're hitting the red. Good, good, good. Now we're getting a ton of level, though. We don't need that much level. All right, right about there. And we'll hit it with a compressor. Longer attack, slower release. Give it that nice thump. And... Uh, That gate isn't just right. 
And it's letting a little bit too much through in, in my opinion. I'll bring it up a little bit and increase the release just a little bit to give it to let that punch through a little bit more. That's just right. Cool. Come back to the compressor. Open up that compressor a little bit more. Make it work. There we go. Bring up the level so it's roughly matching the first kick. Because then we'll just use the faders to, to level everything after that. Together. Nice, aggressive kick tone. That is a pretty that is a pretty nice kick tone. So I think that's good bringing the levels back just a little bit. And let's move on to the snare. Lots of lots of bleed. You can correct that pretty simple. Should have pulled the preset from the other track from the kick track. Is this Oh, whoops, that's not even the snare. <laughs> whoops. Of course not. That's the overheads. Forgot. I would have normally had that organized already, but we'll... Snare. Uh, snare top and... Snare bottom. Cool. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll move on to the overheads later. I was wondering why there's so much hi-hat in the overheads. Uh... All right, the snare benefits quite a bit from boot EQ. Throw that on there. Um, bring up the level there, turn on. Good grief, there is not really a lot of level here. There is almost no level here. I'm gonna um, let me gate it real quick. Oops. I don't need the default preset. I need my custom preset for for gates. There we go. And now we can mess with the with the uh, gain on the preamp. There we go. Perfect. And now we'll throw that into the EQ. Saturation, saturation, more saturation. Getting it all over the place. Bring the level back. Perfect. And we'll we'll put the compressor on it. Cool. I'll, I'll throw inner stage on there. Bring over the gate for the second snare channel. And actually, I'll use the same preset that we have on the preamp already. Oh, wow, that, that changed up a lot. It's much darker. Maybe I'm crazy. some of those frequencies out. That's resonating. There we go. There's a, that 200 hertz frequency is resonating quite a bit. Cool. Oops. Get the, a little bit of the crack in there without amplifying too much of the high frequencies. Cool. Now if we mix them, to, or before I mix them, let's compress. More compression. Everything gets a uh, compressor. That 
That's a nice crack. A nice crack sound when you get the the hit of the of the drumstick on the snare. That's perfect. There's the two most important elements, the kick and the snare. I think those turned out pretty good. Let's move on to the overheads. We can do a lot with these, and this is where a preamp or the preamp emulation comes in handy. Uh, not going to compress or gate or anything on the on the in. Gonna need a lot of gain here. We'll do one first. EQ, gonna drop the kick off a little bit. A little bit of the snare. Don't want so much of the snare in the overheads. And I wanted to drop off a little bit of the high end in the in the hi hats because they become very overpowering in the in the overheads. There we go. I like that. Keep a little bit of the 5k in there, but bring everything else back. Um, skip the saturation and go straight for the limiter. Dial in, I don't know, 12, 12 dB gain. Maybe more. That sounds awesome. So I'll just go ahead and copy those settings over to the second channel. And since this is left right, panning. That sounds fantastic. Bring the levels back and let's bring in the kick and the snare. Fantastic. Uh, the last two channels we have are the toms. Let's. Let me see here. Rack Tom bottom. There's not a lot going on in here. There's a couple of hits in a couple points in the track. That's actually taken care of mostly by the overheads. So let's just remove some of the resonance. Bring in some of the mid range. The crack of the of the tom. Let's bring in uh, the the uh, preamp sound, because it can have a pretty big effect. Too much, too much. Just right. Cool, and we VQ'd that, and to get a better tom sound, throw uh, LA on there. And these need gates like crazy. Cool. Much lower. Okay. Can probably use mostly the same settings. So we'll, we'll gate. EQ, but I'll change up the EQ. Cut it a little bit lower and boost some of the lower. Yeah. Much better. And we'll throw the same compressor on there. That makes it pretty well. Are those out of time? Hold on. Let me see here. Nope, they're alright. Er, that uh, bus is clipping, let me limit it real quick.
So we have most of the drum bus or drums completed. Let's move on to the reverb. Uh, just epic verb set to room, and I think it already sounds pretty good. Bring out the mid side a little bit. Let's EQ. There's a bit much of the kick in there. I'm going to back that off. A little bit less snare. Bring in that room sound. That sounds pretty good. So let's go ahead and take off the limiter for now. We'll put in Baxter EQ just to finalize the EQ. Uh, cut at 36. Uh, let's cut at 30. Rather than cut some of the top end, I think I'm going to boost it a little bit. I, I like the, the the snap of the snare that's coming through on that, rather than bringing down the hi-hats a little bit. Okay, let's throw bus compressor on there. I think that sounds pretty good, and I'd probably probably use that in the final track mostly. I might come through and make a, a couple of changes. Uh, let's see what it sounds like without and then with effects. I'll disable all the effects so we can get a before and after. Bring in the overheads. And a kick and a snare. Toms and bring in the uh, the reverb and the master. Overall, I think that sounds pretty great for a for a drum tone. I like how this one actually came out a little bit better. I think may. Uh, May go back and take another look at some of the other tracks, but overall, I think that's a, a very workable, very usable uh, drum tone. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this live run through of mixing some drums. I'll catch you later.